Welcome to the Family History Guide, Starting Your Irish Genealogy Research. To understand Irish research, you need to know Irish history. Ireland has a long history of conflicts and famines that have resulted in the destruction of valuable genealogical records. Fortunately, there are a considerable number of books, websites, and videos available to learn about that complex history. More specific information about how to locate records for Irish research will be covered in another video. To start out, Ireland was under British rule from 1541 until it became a fully independent state as the Irish Free State in 1922. Ireland became fully independent in 1937, but did not withdraw from the Commonwealth until 1949. Northern Ireland remains part of Great Britain. Beginning in the 1600s, English landlords moved out the indigenous population and brought in English and Scottish undertakers. These undertakers did not have anything to do with burying dead people. They undertook to replace the indigenous population of Irish. For genealogists, this creates a further research challenge of tracing your Scottish and English ancestors back to Scotland and England. Obviously, the indigenous Irish resisted the British rule, and armed conflicts continued well into the 20th century. Valuable genealogical records were a casualty of this constant warfare. In addition to armed conflicts, Ireland has suffered a series of debilitating famines, in addition to the plagues that affected the rest of Europe. From 1845 to 1849, the Great Irish Potato Famine killed an estimated one million people, and another one million people left the country. Subsequently, from about 1800 until the end of the century, we can see a dramatic increase in the number of Irish immigrants in the United States. One casualty of the constant warfare was an explosion that occurred in the Public Records Office in Belfast, Ireland on June 30, 1922. Many genealogically valuable records were destroyed, including census records and vital records, but other important records survived. During the past few years, there has been an effort to reconstruct some of the records. The Beyond 2022 Ireland's Virtual Record Treasury Research Project has sought to retrieve as many of the documents lost in the 1922 explosion as possible through duplicates in other archives. It aims by June 30, 2022, the centenary of the fire to recreate virtually as much of the archive as possible in a digital format that can be accessible to everybody. Research for an immigrant begins with the place of arrival, not the place of departure. There is a tendency among budding genealogists to immediately try to find their Irish ancestors in Ireland. Unfortunately, just as is in the case in most of Europe and in many places throughout the world, people tend to have the same names, and looking for a name without a specific place and time is not just impractical, but close to impossible. Irish immigrants began coming to America in about 1714, and it is estimated that as many as 4.5 million Irish arrived in America between 1820 and 1930. To begin research, there are certain things that we absolutely need to know about the person before we begin searching in another country. We need to know the name of the ancestor or relative, it also helps to have the way the name was written in the target country. We also need to have the date of some event in the ancestor's life in Ireland. Most importantly, we need to know the place where the ancestor lived down to the county, town, and the parish level. It's also important to know your ancestor's religion. Knowing the ancestor's religion is important because many valuable records were recorded by the churches. In Ireland, we look for whether they were Catholic, Protestant, or unknown. 
Without knowing your ancestors' religion, you will be forced to search in multiple record collections, even if you know the name and dates you're looking for. The importance of knowing the location of an event that occurred in your ancestor's life cannot be overstated. Without knowing a location, it is as if you were rowing out into the middle of the lake in a small boat with a gun and began shooting in the water, hoping to hit a specific fish. You may end up hitting a fish, but it's unlikely you'll hit the right one. The links in the Family History Guide will provide you with valuable information about how to find your ancestors in Ireland. Study the choices in this goal to develop your research skills.